So the first order of business is that um, in the last mission, Anna Harren was the sole survivor and got out alive and completed the mission. And since we were awarded a medal for that mission, <laughs> I feel like it should probably go to the only person who actually survived it. Um, so I asked her on Twitter what she'd like to call it, because you get to name the medal, and uh, also what function it should take. You get to choose between two different abilities, and all she would say is, I fear nothing. So it's going to be called I fear nothing, and my best interpretation of that, out of these two options, never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed, that seems like I fear nothing, right? So it's going to be that. And then I award it to Anna Haran. Lady, a few words. <laughs> Alright, so we just shot down our first UFO and we're going to investigate it. And our team is this. The uh, two fellas in white are Nico Harper and Graham Smith. The reason they're in white is because they're from the first mission. And I'm colour coding people by, like, generation. So the very first squad are all white. And then the newest recruits are Steve Gaynor and, and Anthony Birch, who are both in blue. And then Marina Suchong is in red because she's a transfer. She was actually uh, the reward for the last mission we did. They gave us a high level unit. And so she is our high level sniper. And I, she comes like pre-leveled up to level three. So she's got headshot, normal sniper ability. Squad sight lets her shoot anyone any of our team can see. And an advantage when she's on high ground. So I've got to remember to put her up high if I possibly can. Then I think we want, I'm gonna give Steve a med kit. And then everyone else will just have grenades because that's all the equipment we've got at the moment. And I think that's all we need to do. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. <laughs> Do they have US cop cars there? Okay, there's going to be mail canisters. Avoid additional damage to the craft if possible. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Classic Nigerian diner. Those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Right. We don't really know. I think we're in the like. I think this is the corner of the map. Yeah. So we don't know whether we should go left or right or both. It would be quite nice to have a peek in that building, wouldn't it? So let's get Marina to. Maybe we can already see in that building. She's a sniper, so maybe she shouldn't go ahead. Maybe Graham should. Let's get him to there. See if he spots anything. Whoa! Ah, now Graham, that's a meld canister. <laughs> if I tell you to shoot it, ignore me. So presumably it's not like, I mean, when you miss, you don't accidentally hit other things, right? So I could safely shoot at that guy if I wanted to. I got the same chance to hit either of these people. And to be honest, there's nothing in it, so I might as well just shoot this one. Sweet. <laughs> Never one for subtlety, Graham. He's taken out a corner of the building that was not the alien. Oh, so now this has actually worked out well, because if she wanted, Marina could just shoot from here. She is exposed at the moment. If she moves to cover, then she won't be able to fire. Um, so I think whether we move her or not will depend on whether there is any cover for her to move to. Nika should definitely run over here and shoot from there. Oh, she can't shoot from there. What? That seems improbable. So actually, what she could do, though, is... Marina could just stay there. And... Nika could throw a smoke grenade at her to c keep her concealed. That's kind of crazy. But I'm going to do it if I don't just end up killing these guys more easily with the other tropes. So, this guy's got a chance. Same for both. Yep. Might as well shoot the nearest one. 
<laughs> really? That's <laughs> you didn't need to break that window, man. <laughs> That's just a vendetta against windows. Uh, sorry, I forgot to check who that was. That was Anthony. And then Steve. Can Steve get to any line of fire? Probably there would be a line of fire, right? Heading to that location. Just like Steve's voice. And okay, he's not going to hit the mel canister, is he? Let me cancel out of this and just check. He'd have to miss a lot, wouldn't he? Alright, I'm gonna risk it. Oh, hit but didn't kill. That's disappointing. So now, I don't know, for the one health point, I don't think it's actually worth Marina risking... Um, risking being left out in the open. So she is gonna move up here, she's gonna switch to pistol. And then she's gonna fire. Sixty-one percent. That's pretty good. Nice. Took them both out before their chance to do anything. Um, so I think Nick is just going Overwatch. Or maybe she should run forwards to try and get the meld. We'll get closer to it. We've got three turns to walk like across a room, though. I think we'll be fine. So let's lead with. Anthony is closest without being a sniper. <laughs> and it wouldn't hurt to just make sure he's in cover. In case he does need to fire. Don't think he does. He doesn't. And then I intend to move him up there, but I think I'll move everyone else first. In case we reveal anyone we're not expecting. Let's move Marina. She can go there. <laughs> Kicking in a door. That lets me move Nika to here. Steve. Not totally sure where to put him actually. Maybe just over there by this bench. And then Graham. Graham should just go. Not really sure actually. Just here for now. Now, no one can get any closer. Oh wait, Marina could get pretty close to the meld. I don't think she should. I think Bert should move up, and then everyone else should do Overwatch. Actually, Steve could go indoors. Steve could go up to the window because that's better cover and it's closer. Okay. And then. Marina should go into Overwatch. Graham, Overwatch. And Nika, also Overwatch. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're alone out here. So I kind of knew roughly what those those beams um, signified once I figured out that there was different ones for enemies and meld, but. I didn't realise they were representing sounds. That's just a, a sound reaching you. I thought it meant like the aliens had detected you in some way, but when you listen to the voice prompts, they always say something about like hearing something. So Anthony should be able to get the mail this turn. There now. Nothing crazy happens. Nothing crazy happened. Meld, sweet meld. Um, let's have. Marina, go to this window. She'll see a bit further than we currently can. Let's have Steve rush in recklessly. Yeah. <laughs> Throw himself through a window. And Nika. I can't imagine we're going to need Overwatch, like, literally in this room. She's going to rush over there. And then. Graham's last one. Um, I kind of want him oh there yeah. and in Overwatch. Can't get some. I feel, Commander. Je reste en observation. <laughs> All right. Okay, you know, I should look through this door. Huh. 
I'm sure I'd see some enemies. There's a rooftop up here. I could have got up there with... If Marina was on the roof up there, that would be awesome. Are there any other ladders? <laughs> yeah, we blew up that corner of the building. I remember that. Maybe ladders on this side? No, there's only one ladder. Might not be worth it then. I don't know if you'll ever actually get a bead on anyone from up there. So, go back down. And... Maybe we'll just move Anthony to this other door. I can't get there in one turn. In one move. Let's kind of scout around with Marina a bit. <laughs> Running through the whole ground, mate. Uh, Nika. Run to this building. I think Anthony should go over here and open that door if he can on the same turn. I thought he'd be able to do that because it doesn't cost an action, but I guess not. So, does that leave anybody with two moves here, Graham? He should actually just run because he's way behind. Uh, where should he run to? Maybe just here. Everyone else, I watch. Quiet. Did you hear something? I guess we should focus on getting towards those enemies. Which means Steve, move up. Still nothing. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Really, Graham. Man, still no sign of the enemy. That's very strange. Um, yep, Nika should just join them. Kind of, preferably, like to be over there somewhere. Maybe she should just go there. And then Marina's way behind now, but that's okay, because she can shoot anyone anyone can see. And I think Anthony and Steve got to go into Overwatch because there's no point in running out into that that open area unless we can fire on the same turn. Copy that. The enemy's inside. At last. <laughs> they ran back out of sight. Chance to have with that. 45. I'm actually going to see. Can. I don't really know quite how squad sight works, but can Marina just hit them from over here? No, she can't. So she must need line of sight of some kind. She should move up there anyway. If Anthony goes there, that seems promising. No, he can't shoot him. It's going to be Steve. And he can only really shoot at one guy. And he missed. Damn it, missed a target. Graham has a chance. Oh, that looks like it should be better than half cover. Oh, as close as he can get. Oh, one of the people you can shoot at is um, out of colour. Fantastic. Nailed him. Did we see fire coming in from a different direction as well? And then Nika... Ah, oh, she can almost get out there, but not quite. She might as well dash. And Anthony going over watch. Marina, not sure. I 
think Overwatch as well, because she... She's long range. They just ran off. Aha, that's the UFO. Alright. I think Steve should reload. It's killing time. <laughs> no, it's reloading time. When it's killing time, I'll tell you to fire. I would like some people in Overwatch, though. Let's get Graham and Nika further forwards. Nika can sit next to the flame, right? That's okay. Why is that cover? That doesn't look like cover. Oh, it's not. It's cover in the other direction. Actually, over there was quite good. No, I want that close. And... I won't put an overwatch just yet. Because that's the plan. Take over Graham. And then Anthony could run up. I don't think he can... He could go there and go and overwatch it. Oh, and he's awesome. Right. If there were, that's a being of almost pure energy. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Um, okay, we'll shoot at that then. <laughs> we don't have the um, abductee Target thing. Like later on, you get like a taser thing, the way you can incapacitate aliens and capture them, and that's an important one to capture. But we don't have that technology yet. So this is Marina, she's got two bars. I just really want to know how her thing works. If she's there, can she then shoot that guy? Yeah, so it's like a range thing, really. And she kind of might as well with the pistol, <laughs> even though it's ridiculous. I know it. Why doesn't that work? There's one right there. Maybe squad sight only works with the sniper rifle? Not that I can fire this turn, but... Yeah, okay. So it that would have worked if I had the sniper rifle. Um, might as well switch back to the pistol and go into Overwatch for now. And Graham should actually maybe reload. And then just leave Nico in Overwatch. Wow. Pretty accurate. Jesus! That's a nasty shot. Who did he hit? Anthony. Oh my god, Anthony's nearly dead. Um, can he throw a grenade that far? He can blow up their cover. <laughs> I think he should. He blows up their cover. And then... Oh, surely they should go yellow, shouldn't they? The marina... Ah, oh, why can't she...? Oh, okay, sorry. Switch weapons, and now she can. And... Okay, they've both only got three health, so there's no point in doing a headshot particularly. And yeah, she should go for the nasty one. Awesome. And Steve can shoot at the other one. He could move first. I'm just not totally sure. Yeah, that's good enough. Sixty-five. Nice. And that was it! Wow! We got both mail canisters? I guess... How did we get the second one? Just by not discovering it. <laughs> it just didn't expire before we completed the mission. That's weird. I'm not sure, totally sure how meld works. Anyway, everyone survived. <laughs> Anthony got seriously, seriously hurt. But
Aha, as he's been promoted to Squaddy, and he's a support. And Steve's been promoted and he's a sniper. That's our third sniper. We're quite. In fact, it might be our fourth sniper. <laughs> we have a lot of fucking snipers. Unfortunately, he's gravely wounded for 15 days. And no one has leveled up. We got an alien nav computer. Lots of Illyrium. Gotta like that. Lots of meld. Oh, and some damage stuff that I can sell. That's great. 